Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make this video and share this insight with you for a good while, but I pretty much never got around to it. Now, we're going to delve into the minds of women on a very deep subject that it would be so profound that you guys will literally have a mindset shift when it comes to understanding women and, you know, the sort of games they play. And how you can maneuver it and get around it and eventually get the girl and get laid. That's what it basically comes down to. But you must understand this key insight into why women play hard to get, why they must play hard to get, and what you can do to actually flip that script. Because the thing is, when a girl gives a congruence test or a shit test, you know, she says something to you as the guy and it sort of befuddles you, the first impression that you're left with as the man in the interaction is, the girl doesn't like me. Something about me she doesn't like. Or maybe I'm just not her type. And rushing to these conclusions as the guy is the quickest way to literally self-reject. You're literally rejecting yourself for no reason at all. And I see this happen all the time. All the time. Whether in person, whether with friends online, I see it happen every single time. The girl says something, as in, which, it, which could be perceived as her being hard to get, and the guy literally throws in the towel, not realizing that every girl wants to be perceived as a sexual saint. She wants to be perceived as the, let's say, the most virtuous girl that you have ever met in your life. That's, that is what every girl wants to be perceived as. And I'm not going to even go into the, you know, the reasons for that because it's very, it's vast. And if, you're, if you've been into the, the pickup and seduction world for a good while now, you would have already known the reasons for this. You know, we're talking about social pressure. We're talking about, let's say, her environment and status and so forth. You know, you want a girl would like to preserve her virtuous standings even though she may not have one so the sluttiest girls and I've said this repeatedly and guys are starting to realize this the sluttiest girls in the world still want to be perceived as a virtuous but she said I was crazy and guys you need to realize this when a girl calls you crazy during the courtship phase or the pickup phase, it does not mean she thinks you're literally fucking wacko. It means it's a good thing. When a girl calls you crazy, it's a good thing, okay? It's when she calls you nice, adorable, sweet, that is when you're in trouble. But if a girl calls you crazy or, you know, something among that, uh, along that lines, it's actually a compliment. So never get befuddled and never get thrown off your game when a girl calls you crazy. So, so I said, no, I'm adventurous, not crazy, get it right. So she LOLs. So I said to her, can you, can you be adventurous sometimes? Is it in you or would I have to bring it out? This is what I asked her. So she replies with, bring what out? So I reply with, adventurous side. Now, this is key right here. And this is where it comes in as far as women playing hard to get. She says to me, which part of you not getting me, you not understand? Now, this dates back to a prior chat we had earlier during that, that evening. And she was playing these hard to get games. And she said to me that I'm not going to get into her, to your pant, to her pants. That's what she said to me. So this is why she made that statement. Which part of you not getting me, you don't understand? So, so I said to her, and she sends me a smiley face. Now guys, whenever a girl says something like that, which is sort of like a line that you perceive that she's um, dissing you, rejecting you, and so forth. Whenever she sends a smiley face, it is a psychological, um, how, let me try to find the perfect word. It's a, it's a sort of a way to, to, to tamper down her statement so in order that it not be perceived as actually a negative if you get what i'm trying to say so she sends a smiley face after she sort of rejects me 
to show me that she's not actually rejecting me. But guys generally don't get this. So I said to her, now this care that was it <laughs> that is it guys that is how you take a rejection that is how you handle a sort of congruence test when a girl hits you with something like you're not my type or you're not getting in my pants when a girl says that to you you don't frame battle it you don't get into these arguments and trying to convince her why you're the, her ideal type or why you're the guy that she should get with and so forth. You don't frame battle it that way or else you'll be ceding your power away to the girl. So I handle that perfectly by telling her, cool, I hear you. I would just accept that. Take care. Now, she this totally fucked her whole mind up because she's not expecting that. Typically, when a girl rejects a guy or when a girl says to a guy that you're not getting with me or you're not my type and so forth, the the, 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 the average response from the guy in that case would be trying to convince the girl that he's a perfect candidate. Um, why am I not your type? Um, um, I'll do anything for you. Um, I'll buy you anything. I, please, please, please. And he begins to beg, you know, in the, the usual bullshit. So when you do the total opposite from what the girl expects, it totally blows her mind and fucks her up psychologically which actually draw, draws her in and deepens the attraction at the same time. So, she, yell, she LOLs and says to me, you give up so easily, wow. So guys, that's pretty much where it went with that interaction. So, you see why that was so key and what actually happened in flipping the script. After she rejected me or told me that I was not going to get her or get with her, I sent her a comment, um, a reply stating that I'll just accept that. Take care. Bye. Basically, it was over. You told me, you rejected me, you told me you don't want to have anything to do with me. In other words, I accept that. She didn't want that to happen, obviously. <laughs> so that is why she sent a reply upon that saying, you know, um, I, you give up easily. So that is key and that is where a lot of guys go wrong. When a girl says something to them that, that, that they could be perceived as a rejection, when in all reality, most times it is not a fucking rejection. It is the girl playing these hard to get games because, like I said, she's conditioned to have to do that. So you have to be able to exercise social intelligence as the guy in order to be able to perceive and, you know, to see that, okay, this is just the standard bullshit that as a male and female in, in, in the interaction here, I would have to be able to, to manage as a guy. So, and you get points for that, basically. And it's not that you're trying to look points with the girl, but inevitably, that is what's going to happen. Whenever you exercise moves that displays to the girl that you are socially intelligent, that you get it, you get how a woman operate, that is a big plus in attracting the girl. So, once you realize that, guys, that every woman is programmed to play hard to get, once you realize this, you will be able to manage that expectation simply by... You know, looking at the interaction, sizing it up and realize that, okay, this is just part of the ball game. You know, it's part of the interaction. It's inevitable. It's going to happen anyway. So, you pretty much laugh in the face of such rejections and such hard-to-get statements and comments and so forth. And you override it by playing with it. You know, you just literally say to the girl, just as I showed you in the screenshots, I mean, okay, cool. All right, I'll just accept it. I'll accept the simple fact that you don't want to be with me. Blank, you cut her off. 
Simple. Just as I did. You don't reply to her messages from the, from thenceforth. And if the girl really likes you, which in my case, the girl does like me, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna send it. Uh, she's gonna reply to that message with something to sort of tamper down her previous message because she doesn't really want to reject you. It is just that she's psychologically programmed to. She's conditioned by society, by her, let's say, her peers, by men, by people who judge her. So she has to put up this front to preserve her sort of, let's say, chastity, for lack of a better word. So no matter how slutty the girl is, she has to put up a front to make you believe that she is valuable in a sexual sense, that she's not easy she's not a slut she's not a whore okay so as the guy you need to realize this whenever a girl says to you that you know let's say i'm i'm not an easy girl i'm a difficult girl i'm a hard girl or i'm, I'm not easy to get with you're not gonna fuck me when, when a girl says shit like that don't get thrown off your game don't take it as a rejection just realize that this is part of the interaction this is a natural thing Okay, I can't begin to count the amount of times that I've, I've met guys and they share their messages and stuff with me. And they would ask, they would say, um, Kenny, what did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? Because the interaction seems flawless, but the girl said to me that I'm not her type. And when I scan the messages or skim the messages from these guys' conversation or their, their chat log with, with a specific girl, you know, it's nothing at all that the guy done wrong. It is simply that the girl said something which was sort of a congruence test in order to pres preserve her value. But the guy literally took that as a rejection. And this happens very often and more often than you would actually believe it. I would say 80% of the times when a guy gets these sort of hard to get lines or congruence tests from girls, he takes them seriously. And the interaction is done. He's blown the fuck up. Okay. So before I wrap it up, guys, I want um, I want to throw out a little disclaimer here. And this is very key. If a girl is not attracted to you, if she doesn't like you, if you haven't generated enough attraction with a new girl or any girl for that matter if you haven't done the framework or the foundation work from the get-go in order to attract the girl nothing will work you playing hard to get yourself as the guy will not fucking work okay let me give a prime example you meet a girl but you haven't done enough to attract her haven't done enough to show her that she should chase you. You haven't done enough to show her that you are valuable. And now, let's say with that dynamic being the case, the girl says to you over text or over the phone or whatnot, you're not my type. If you respond to the girl that by saying, okay, cool, you're not, all right, I'm not your type, cool. That burden to bear upon herself that she shot down and never fucking do. So, you have to bear that in mind. If you don't build enough attraction from the start, you cannot use this psychological technique on women. They will laugh at you because you're literally self-rejecting. You're rejecting yourself. And the girl would love nothing more than a guy who's a fucking chode and he rejects himself. Because she doesn't have to do it. You did it for yourself. Okay? So, in order to make certain techniques like these work, where you get a girl to chase you by playing hard to get yourself,
So in order to make this shit work, you have to attract the girl, you know, from the start. Because when I first met this girl in, in you know, who my showcase in the screenshot here, when I first met her about um, less than 48 hours ago, you know, I, I pounded her with massive amounts of attraction. You know, the typical pickup stuff. You know, if you're a PUA, you know what I'm talking about. Everything from just the whole shebang, you know, the whole script, my whole pickup POA method. You know, I pounded her from the gate and it served to attract her very, very, very strong. You know, the attraction was deep. She was really into me. So at that point, when you have a girl really, really into you, you literally can do anything. You can do anything. So me knowing to myself that this girl was already hooked. The interaction had already reached the hook point. She was already sold on me. She already wanted me. Me realizing this, it, it, it gave me the power to literally reject her or let's say play hard to get myself, which is what I did. You know, she told me that um, I wasn't going to get with her and I just accepted it. I told her, okay, I accept that. Cool. Bye. Later. Knowing that she would chase me because she actually wants me. So she doesn't want to really reject me. Okay, guys, so hopefully you get what I'm saying. And realize that you have to at least attract the girl substantially or at least, you know, a, a bit at the start of the interaction in order to get her to chase you. Because if you don't and the girl, let's say, rejects you by saying you're not her type and whatnot, if you literally try to preserve value or try to look like a let's say a um you know a, a nonchalant player or something and you literally tell the girl okay cool i accept that you don't i'm not your type cool and you exit stage left the girl is not going to chase you because you haven't done enough work from the beginning to get her to chase you. okay so i'm going to leave it at that note and if you have to rewatch the video make sure you do it and please desist from making these common mistakes from now on, when a girl says something over text as in a way to reject you, nine and ten times it is not a rejection. Okay? It is just a bait. It is just a way to see how you're going to handle a so-called rejection. And by reading my screenshots, I showcase to you one way or one powerful way in which I handle this. So, later.